Placer County will uphold its emergency declaration. This is a story we've been following for a week. Last Friday, Placer County made the announcement, but it came two days after neighboring counties issued a state of emergency. Yesterday, the board signed off on the declaration. This opens up the county to additional funding and resources, so we'll make a big difference for that area. Another concern in the foothills is the weight of the snow on homes and businesses. That leads to a higher chance of a roof collapse. So we're told one cubic foot of snow puts about 15 pounds of pressure on a roof. It can eventually go up depending on the density of the snow. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo is in Pollock Pines. Bridget, a roof collapse is costly and obviously very dangerous. And it's happening more and more frequently following all the severe storm system and the rounds we've been seeing one after another. We've been seeing on and off snow this morning at Pollock Pines, and it's adding to what's already on the ground. As you can see, there is quite a bit of it, and people have been working against the clock, shoveling what is already accumulated on snow tops. As you can see, there are several feet on top of this one, and all this snow is quickly turning to thick and heavy ice. For most living in the Northern California foothills, they've had enough of a winter. Everyone's just kind of waiting for the rain and stuck. It's crazy and we're just hoping for it to end soon. But the wet weather isn't done just yet. With more snow in the forecast for Pollock Pines this week, adding to the heavy roof load that could send parts of buildings crumbling. It can happen to any house. Um, the theory is if your house doesn't have at least a 35 degree angle, the snow won't slide off and it'll build up into ice. So a lot of people up here are in danger. And to mediate those dangers, neighbors and first responders have been scrambling to clear rooftops and driveways before the next storm rolls in. If you don't shovel it within the first couple of hours of building up, it will start freezing and get into serious cement. And at my house, we have a gravel driveway, and then it starts molding to the gravel, and you can't get the ice off. Just a challenge for anyone getting to or from work at this point. And for those who drive for work, they have no choice but to brave the snowy conditions. Chaining up at gas stations like this one before hitting a blanketed Highway 50. I try to get as much gas as I can off for the day with the conditions, but it's going to be hard. It's not very fun. Why? <laughs> Just because it's hard to get into places, these things are only two wheel drive, so it's a little complicated, but we do our best. Road crews advise against mountain travel for those who can wait, but if you can't. My biggest advice to anyone is you crash as fast as you drive, so take it slow, don't go fast, you're not in a hurry. You're going to get there and have fun with the journey. And as we come back out here live, we are already seeing a lot of this snow turn to ice. It doesn't take long, especially when you're in these high elevation areas. And not only are roof collapses the concern, but how are people supposed to pay for it is another worry. When some homeowners tell us recently their home insurance plans have changed, we are in a high risk fire area. So they have experienced insurance changes in recent years, and they say that roof collapses are sometimes considered an act of God. Mm -hmm for the policy and therefore they are not covered when it happens. So a lot of people have anxiety about that, Walton Conchetta. Yeah, anecdotally, I remember with the wildfires, Bridget, and you were up there too, where insurance was pulled from them and the only option they had was like some ex super expensive Lloyds of London coverage, which was completely unaffordable yeah. to anybody. So that was the option, right? Yeah, they have that state plan or even mm -hmm. outside plans they can choose from, but a lot of the times they're paying triple yep. than what they did a couple years ago for less coverage. So it really is not an easy answer for a lot of these homeowners, Walt. Yeah, indeed. Okay, Bridget, she's up there in the high country getting ready like everybody else. Bridget, thank you.